Welcome to the Lather Games. Today's day, the theme for today is Holy Cow. I assume that's how you pronounce this brand. And uh, one of my favorite scents from them. They do a lot of florals and kind of grilly stuff that I'm not a fan of. But this guy right here is manly and spicy. And this is also in the new Donkey Milk uh, base. Super slick. We'll give it another shot. Haven't actually used this one. I have used a donkey milk before. Um, I wasn't super impressed with it at the time. Maybe I got the lather mix wrong or something like that. So let's just uh, work with this guy. Cuero Oscuro, I assume, is about how you pronounce it. I've got a Maggard's handle in here that I have put a 26 millimeter uh, silver tip from Virginia Ching. Um, this is another first, um, other than the soap, is, uh, this is my first time with an injector. This is a vintage injector. Um, what, uh, company? Uh, oh, Eversharp. Schick. Schick is the company and Eversharp is the razor. And, uh, just put a new blade in it. The, uh, this particular blade is the Pella blade from available through Maggard. Um, I wrote Pella on the bottom of it because it doesn't really say wh what the manufacturer is anywhere else. And uh, be my first time with this type of razor. Um, here is the uh, kind of a very light, very, very, very light tan um, off-white color. There's the divot of my quarter teaspoon that I pulled out of it, and I put that in the bottom of this bowl. I'm testing out this shape. It's a little taller than I usually use, and the curve of the bottom here is, is there um, that I don't usually have in my normal bowl. Tried it once before. It was all right. Let's try it again. And I believe we're ready to start making lather, so let me get my face wet. Soften up, start the softening of the hairs. All right. Just, uh, you know, I'm going to say this is a cousin to Chiseled Face Midnight Stag. Um, you know, that type of scent. Just very, very dominant, very powerful, pungent. Um, you know, uh, like a tar or rubber is kind of in the family there. But it's nicer. It's nicer than that. Um, musk. You know. I don't know. All right. Oh, does Cuero Oscuro, uh, is one of those leather? I can't remember. Oh, well. Um, so we'll take out the knot here. Um, in the past, I have not, I've used this, uh, you know, a couple dozen times, but, um, kind of put it, put it away for a little while because although the, uh, tips feel good, a little too much backbone on here for me. Um, the splay is a little too, little effort, a little too hard to maintain uncomfortable to maintain, that sort of thing. So we're just going to see. Um, I shook out pretty much all the water I could. So we're just dealing with whatever lather is generated by a, a damp brush. We've got a little bit, a little bit going. So now we'll take our medicine dropper. Put in half a teaspoon grind on that for a little bit I ordered the holy cow tempest and its scent was was nice but it was so faint that I couldn't really enjoy it while I was shaving this however is coming up and knocking me in the nose and so I'm enjoying that Got 
this bowl is the Dollar Tree. Turns out it has a big crack in it, so I have to be gentle with it. I guess that's uh, it's good that I don't have to focus on shaving with hot water because I don't have to worry about the heat cycling causing that crack to get bigger. Ah, see, now we starting to get some some stuff. Because of these tall walls here, I did discover last time that my fingers did get a little messy with the soap. Now badgers do change over time and so, you know, it's possible that this one will relax a little bit. So who knows, maybe I should just kind of, just kind of keep, keep using it. They don't change as much as bores though, if you don't know. Bores have to be broken in and it can take about nine months worth of daily uses. Or if you use it every other day, then 18 months. You know, you can do the math. Okay, yeah, we're starting to I'm reminded of the ladies man movie from what the 90s Tim Meadows Saturday Night Live spinoff I was about to say well I got some magic on my fingers well if you know anything about that movie he was in his boudoir and he was telling a lady friend well the magic happened right there got some magic right there on those drapes magic happened in that waterbed so. might be a whole heap of people that just don't get that reference at all that's all right Well, the lather looks wonderful so far. Definitely have to kind of keep pulling it down. Nice gleam sheen to the lather uh, at this point. looks really good um, some face shavers who kind of add water as they go might stop right now and go ahead and hit it you know that's okay don't believe it's quite ready for me yeah but we're getting close so I may start watching it It's not clinging to the uh, the top part quite as rigidly. It's getting more elastic. This looks. Let's take a look. Show you the the peaks and stuff here. Very nice. You see the elasticity there that causes that bottom one to kind of fall in on itself. It's got a little movement in this peak. You know what? I'm going to add a little bit more. 
some soaps you cannot get to this point. This is a high quality soap. Some soaps, if you get to the flexible peak stage, it's too, too thin on your face, it'll dissipate, breaks down. Just depends on the soap. Play around with it, see what you find with whatever soap you have. Let's just use this. Might still need some more water, but pretty easy to add water. Do a little finger test with what is on my nice cushion. Very good slickness. Going to rinse my face again. I use uh, whatever comes out of the cold tap, so right now it's cool. In the middle of the summer it'll be just kind of lukewarm. Winter it will be frigid. Ready to go. This is a big knot. Yep, there it is. There's that stiffness. I mean, and it's it's like a, it's like it's dense. It's like it's too dense. It's like I'm rubbing a hairy ball on my face. Scrubby. Scrubby is another word. Yeah, that's why I put it away. Now I remember. Of course it feels great when you're you know doing the painting strokes here because you're just using the side of the brush you're not involving any kind of splay or anything like that I bought about three or four badger silver tips at the same time kind of inexpensive ones Virginia Ching, Golden Nib, Frank Shaving. Uh, Frank Shaving, I got the finest, um, finest badger. And then all, later on, I got their silver tip. And it's so funny how they all just had different attributes. It's just crazy. You would think that if you were just a person who only wanted to experiment with one, you know, at a time or something, didn't want to buy four brushes to do a test, like me, um, I'm gonna put a little bit more water in the lather, and then we're probably good. So that's uh, about uh, four and a half teaspoons of water thirsty soap now um, should give this a shot don't really know what angle I'm going to use um, if you don't if you've never seen an injector before the um, this is the key and it goes in the side right here like that and basically it acts as a pry bar to lift up this top ridge here just enough to where the blade can slide in because you push this all the way in you move this thing back and you just push it forward and it pushes a blade into the exact position where it needs to go where you can see the silver blade right there and then when you pull the key out this is now free like a clipboard to lock down squeeze it really hard and that's it that's all there is to it Got a little spring down here, little corner guards. It's like a uh, safety razor in that you have a kind of a top plate and the uh, safety bar. I was, I've been researching a little bit and if you want to travel with a, uh, an enjoyable razor, if you're a, a double edge enthusiast, you can't travel with those blades. You can mail them ahead. You can risk uh, the local shop having them 
on hand most of the time they do I've heard or you can uh, I've heard that you can probably take an injector load a blade into the injector take it with you because uh, just like a normal uh, type cartridge razor you it's re you can't really get this blade out to make it a weapon or anything like that it's very difficult to uh, to get the blade out because you would not bring the key with you. You would not bring the replaceable blades with you. Just use this for a week or whatever it is. So that's another little fun fact about it. All right. Do not know what to expect. I'm going to take it easy. These are more expensive. That's a good shave right there. Nice. Of course, these blades are more rigid, more firm than the safety. This finding the sweet spot in this thing is just super easy. Very light. Nothing like the, uh, you know, the dull edges that I have that are all heavy and stuff. Looks like a uh, hair and soap is easily rinsing away. This is very nice. Very nice. Great feel. You feel it cutting, but so secure. There's none of that flexibility or chatter with the thinner blades that you get with the thinner blades. I can see why people stick with these after years and years of these being around now I believe the seven count I'm not really even having to think about the angle I think it's a seven or eight count supply from uh, with this one that you get it maggards and I think that's the same for other one I got online or uh, yeah and so that makes it um, I think this was ten dollars so each of these blades is, is more than a dollar and uh, whereas a DE blade can be ten cents or less the better ones are more like 18 cents each or 20 cents each or something like that. Um, and so I don't think it's as economical. Even though this blade probably goes farther, it lasts longer than a DE blade. I don't think it's going to last 10 times as long. really really good slickness there washing it off very very nice nice uh, cushion as well I'll put a little bit more water in the lather here so yeah this bowl did cause me to kind of get a little messy on the fingers and on the brush so but it is a little bit more convenient in terms of mixing up the lather not having to travel around my brush as much. Travel around the bowl, bottom of the bowl, that sort of thing. Alright. There we go. 
looked a little slim as I was, you know, doing the scrub. But as usual, switching over to the painting, it allows you to thicken up your layer just enough. So, cross grain. Mmm. Super comfortable. Wow. Well, here I can see why people may keep an injector in there collection for a little while because this is just terrific and I have seen mention of people online kind of talking about them like they are something special and at least with this one it is justified I like the scent on this soap. I'd say it's a three or a four. Four. Solid four in my book. In terms of scent strength. That's tremendous. It's got such a low profile. I don't have to worry about shaving under my nose because of my goatee and my mustache. But, I mean, it's got such a great profile. It's no problem getting under that area. So, might be a reason to keep one around. They are inexpensive over eBay. Very, very cheap. A lot of times, you'll I'll buy another couple of razors and this is like thrown in for free. Felt just terrific. No irritation at all. Very nice. Uh, felt that cushion and slickness as I was as I was rinsing off. Just just first rate. I I could if I worked at just kind of a normal job where people weren't right up in your mix um, to notice a you know a little issue here or there. Um, I could stop shaving now if that's the kind of job I had or the kind of shave I needed. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and do three passes. So. That means that if you did stop after two passes, less wear on the blade, and so it could possibly last, you know, longer that way. tricky spot right there that I have to get with with care and purpose 
watching my pressure and direction very carefully. That's very interesting. Um, a, uh, a double edge that is somewhat aggressive will, on this hill right here, that's my muscle, tendon or whatever, um, can sometimes cause a little bit of uh, agitation. But this guy, no problem at all. They do make some modern injectors. If you, if that's your style. If you could do that. And there we go. It's a very good shave. I can't shave against the grain. It irritates my skin too much. My in the neck area down here and I don't need to shave against the grain up here I get great shaves there anyway I'm going to pause you while I do a, a good rinse and I'll take a look at the results I did speak a little too soon after checking out the results in my little trouble spot area right here I see a good many hairs where I see a little bit of length there and that is an average shave for me uh, with you know a lot of DE blades being able to do that for me in a lot of different razors um, so it's not an above average result but it's a very above average comfort excellent excellent comfort um, no irritation uh, for me at least um, keep in mind that the uh, blades um, and the use of the razor is very subjective you may find this exact same model to be rough you know but uh, you know I'm happy with it um, be interesting to see how long uh, how long the blade lasts. I'll have to track it. But um, I got a good shave. Um, it's just you know average if I want it, and that's one neck pass that you saw. Um, not not two. Sometimes I'll do another touch up, but don't feel like it tonight. Um, love the scent of this holy cow. Um, just right up my alley. I'm so glad they made it. There's so much of their collection that is all floral and stuff and that's that's okay um, but this one this is me really enjoy it really really enjoy it beautiful lather slickness sheen all of what you're looking for now this lather that I put together um, is is quite is quite well hydrated um, some guys don't like it this hydrated look how the guy bends over some soaps you can't get that far this is a quality soap um, and the quarter teaspoon uh, and this is consistent with their normal base a quarter teaspoon is basically what I need for the whole lather because I've got Plenty enough for my, a touch-up pass and a little bit of margin, and that's my gold. Uh, so that's perfect. Um, so there we go. Uh, some soaps take less than a quarter teaspoon, so that might mean they're more efficient. It all depends on the volume um, of the soap. All right, because they are measured by weight when they're sent to you. It'll be four ounces in weight, not fluid ounces um, in um, in volume, and so. Yeah, I, I have learned in previous videos, I mentioned that, um, you know, that if it took a half of a quarter teaspoon to to get make, you la make your lather with one soap, and then it took a whole quarter teaspoon uh, with another soap, then obviously the first soap is, is more economical. But it all depends on the volume um, and the density of the soap. So that may or may not be... Uh, accurate all right um, wonderful comfortable 
uh, shave. I can I can see why it has fans. Desert Island, yes. If I was stuck with this soap, um, I might not like this brush necessarily. Um, but if I was stuck on a desert island with this soap, um, this razor, these blades, um, then I would be a happy, happy camper stuck for 20 years with this equipment. This is kind of one of the questions I asked myself at the end. Helps me to sum up. Um, the brush is very scrubby and, um, strange because it's a silver tip. I kind of expect that of a lower grade of hair. Um, Virginia Chang is, um, it's mentioned a lot, you know, it's not a small maker. You buy through their eBay store usually, and it does take a while to get to you, but, um, you know, it's very scrubby, it's a very dense, dense knot. That's what you like. I think I'm discovering that's not what I like. Um, the tips are fairly, fairly soft. Um, and, uh, so there you go. We'll see if it, see how it relaxes. If it relaxes a, you know, a, something that's noticeable, it might drop into a zone where I'm very happy with it and I would want to keep it. So we'll see. All right, I'm going to do some cleanup. I um, a face feel right now. No tightening or, okay, tiny, tiny, tiny bit, like a 0.25 out of 10, you know. Um, face feels great afterwards. I could easily just hit the road without any kind of post shave treatment. Here's what that big old knot looks like uh, in terms of density. 26 millimeter. Nice splay out. It's uh, I think maybe I've, it's still kind of young so I'm losing hairs a little bit. That's normal. A couple dozen uses I think. And uh, But look how dense it is. It's crazy. This one does not have uh, tips that are hooking and gelling or anything like that. And I think that's actually what I prefer. But anyway, um, so the knot definitely fits this big old maggot handle. I've got big hands, and so I think I appreciate that. So there we go. That's the, the brush. I already told you how much water we used. And, uh, and so I'll just keep on... Oh. Here's the uh, post shave we're going to use. I think this um, the soap I use, Cuero Oscuro, um, probably go well with Bon Vivant. Give it a shot. Kind of in the same savory family. That one's more spicy and musky, though. This one's more kind of sweet. So, um, and if, you do, if you've never seen uh, this, Chatelon Lux, I don't even know if I'm pronouncing it right. It's more like a, uh, a putty. And you, uh, your, your body heat kind of melts it. So, put it in my hands here for just a little bit before I rub it all over my face. Um, this stuff can come separated, and from my research and stuff, um, I got some like that, and no big deal. Just take a little toothpick and mix it back up together, no problem. And there we go, all that's gone. Does not take a lot. Very, very good to your skin. Obviously, it does not contain alcohol. Um, if I had a rough shave, I feel like I would almost have to use more than I should because there's a good bit of tug as you're moving it on your skin. Um, you might be able to mitigate that by doing this while your face has a little moisture. I don't know if that's the recommended practice or not. But there we go. Real nice scent. It's too sophisticated really for me to describe. 
you know, what I just got a little bit of whiff of was kind of a burned, uh, like an outside campfire. But it's, it's hidden in some savory, sweet type notes. Um, just, uh, my, it's too, too much for me to try to guess at, to try to give you a good idea how about how it smells. So I guess just read up with it online. A little goes a long way. And this is really not that expensive when you, when you think about that. Uh, I think $10 is, $8 is how I got this used. And, uh, so it's actually not seems kind of like an, an exclusive premium type product and it's premium quality but not necessarily in, in value in my book at least all right I'm gonna keep putting things away so this uh, after you put your post shave on if you're really curious about whether you've matched your scents very well because a lot of times the soap will be pretty weak just whip out your soap again and um they are in different families. This almost has like a, a sour tar smell to it that comes out. Um, that's kind of what I described as like rubber or something like that. Um, uh, and that's definitely not what's in this, the balm I just put on. But I think they work well together. I think they're close enough. They're not really in the same genre, so I just want to make that known. But I like, I like the way they work together. And yes, uh, this does answer the question of uh, if you're traveling, if you can get away with taking one of these, um, uh, one of these injectors with you. And obviously, it's called an injector because you're taking the little uh, blade key thing and injecting, pushing the blade into the razor. Um, traveling. It's a, since it's such a comfortable shave, um, if I was traveling somewhere for a week or two and I, uh, by air, and I had to leave my safety razor at home, uh, this would be a, a very enjoyable alternative to give you a great shave um, and a, a great feel as well as good results. Um, so very happy to, to know that just in case that ever comes up around uh, sometime soon.